hello people good morning good afternoon good evening this is another day we have come to you know give us the latest news happening in nigeria and beyond it but this morning we are shifting our focus towards nigeria and as you listen may the lord bless you comment share like and give us your what opinion about what is happening in nigeria and you know tell us how we're going to do about it con you know comment constructively and it will help us grow the more thank you just watch the news and listen to what is happening thank you and god bless i still remain your sister Choma. at least 110 people were killed in boko haram attack on a farming community in jero local government area a top United Nations official has said, premium time reports, for those of you that will say, fake news, where did you get it from? Premium time reports. Again, let's get into the news. The Saturday attack on the most rice farmer in Zanfare and community in Jari local government area, with residents saying, at least 43 farmers were killed. Let's proceed. President Muhammad Buhari, who condemned the attack on the Saturday night's statement, did not speak on the casualty figure. Guys, this is a country that when people are killed, the number of people killed will be hiding. People will be caught sugarcoating everything. We don't know if it is actually 48 people. We don't know if it is 110 people. This statement is what? Complicated. This is what, what you see in a place where there is no transparency, where there is no equity, where there is no what? A will to do the right thing. Let's continue. As premium time report, however, the victims we are buried on Saturday with residents saying, Many others are yet to be accounted for. Guys, this is what we are seeing. The, 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 the people dead has been already buried. Yet, there are people that have not been counted. Probably, we don't know they are dead. They are wounded. They are in the hospital. We don't really know what is happening to other casualties. Right now, as we report from premium times this is a country that one person of another country was kidnapped brought to the soil of nigeria and america without any hesitation swing into action and go and rescue their own on hot their soldiers on hot nothing and took their own home but in a place called nigeria Everybody will sit very tight as if nothing happened. You are talking about 110 people, human beings, born like you and me, slaughtered in a cold blood, and there is no swinging of action into action. There is no there is no empathy, there is no sympathy, and all we hear is statement upon statement. Before two days, you see the whole thing die down, guys. This is a country you are hoping for to hold on with. Guys, let us continue. On Saturday, the UN resident coordinator in Nigeria, Edward Callum, said the death toll, the death toll from attack could be as high as 110. I am outraged and horrified by the gruesome attack against civilians carried out by non-state armed group. In villages near Bono State, capital Medugri, at the same time. At least 110 civilians were ruthlessly killed and many others were wounded in this same attack. In, in nearly afternoon of 28 November, armed men on the moto motorcycles led a burial attack on a Let's take it again. Led a brutal attack on a civilian men and women 
who we are harvesting their field in Kosohabi and other rural community in general local government. I extend my sincere condolence to the families of these, civ the, these civilians who lost their lives in the atrocious attack. And I also wish speedily recovery to all those who were wounded in the incident, he said. Till how long would we continue to say this? Till when will this continue? Till when do we continue to say my heart feel sincere words, condolence. Till when will this continue? This is a question. Do we continue this way? If this country is too big for one centralized government, let there be division. If division is not accepted, let there be devaluation of what power. If it is not so, this is a child's play. You are just witnessing because the people involved are not yet ready to quit. Guys, what is your own opinion? What is your own opinion? Please let us know at the comment section. We are here to interact. If you know what could be done to settle Nigerians' matter, because Nigerians' matter is getting out of hand. If you know what to do, if you know the solution to profile. You know, for this ceaseless killing and constant attack on the farmer, on the villagers, and all whatnot, bloodshed every day. Please, if you know what to do, for you to do what come to an end, let us interact at the comment section, please. You can construct what you can, you can, you know, comment constructively. Let's not, you know, start fighting each other. Construct your own words, comment, and let us hear from you. We we'll have a different opinion from a different people. So let's meet at the comment section. Bye-bye for now.